All right, meanwhile, the Central Intelligence Agency wants him dead or alive, but apparently the American-born terrorist with ties to the 9-11 hijackers has been a guest of honor at the Pentagon. Julie Kurtz joins us from Washington. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, here's what we know. Fox News has learned that Anwar al-Awlaki, the American Muslim cleric, remember him with a worldwide following, dined with military brass at the Pentagon within months of the 9-11 attacks. New documents obtained by Fox include an FBI interview conducted after the Fort Hood shootings. Uh, it states that Alaki was taken to the Pentagon as part of the military's outreach to, quote, moderate Muslims, according to FBI documents. Now, the American cleric was interviewed at least four times by the FBI in the first uh, week after uh, the attacks because of his ties to the hijackers, but it appears None of this information was relayed to the Pentagon, where Alaki had lunch at the Secretary of the Army's Office of Government Counsel. Uh, at this point, a Defense Department spokesman uh, has declined our request for an interview, and it's uh, not clear, frankly, what exactly uh, the vetting process is at the Pentagon, which would have allowed a, a known associate of the 9-11 hijackers into the U.S. military's headquarters. We do know that currently Alaki is a high priority target for the U.S. and the government of Yemen. He is connected to the 9-11 hijackers, the shootings at Fort Hood, and the failed Christmas Day bombing. So we'll have more on this uh, as the day goes on. That is a crazy story. With the Fox yeah. News exclusive, uh, Julie Kurtz down in the bureau, thank you very much. I mean, wow. I, sure. I know he was on camera after 9-11 condemning the attacks, and you know, he was someone people were looking at. So, I mean, that video is there. shows how insincere he is, and you don't know who you're talking to. All right, coming up on our show, voters are already...